the third type of data we can export from MaxSurf to Ship Constructor are parts which are created in the Workshop Initial Structural Design module. Workshop allows you to create parts which are highly dependent on the hull shape. This includes shell plates, transverse frames which can have uh, webs defined in them which are offset from the hull and also we can define shell stringers in the model. So let's take a look at how we can send these parts to Ship Constructor. We'll start out by hiding everything except the frames. The best way to get frames over to Ship Constructor is to use the DXF option. So we choose Export DXF. We choose 3D DXF one-to-one -one and polylines with our one decimal place of precision, so 0.1 millimeter of accuracy. And we remove our redundant points from our frames so that we don't get duplicate points in straight areas of the design. We then can save those to a DXF file on disk. Over in Ship Constructor, we typically go into either a structural model drawing or the unit drawing, and then we use the insert block command, browse to the DXF file that we created, and insert that and explode it in our drawing. That then gives us DXF boundaries for all of our parts that we've created, and we can then create structural model drawings, which will have all of the uh, boundaries in it to start modeling our structural parts. Back to workshop, and we can take a look now at our shell stringers and our plates. So let's take a look at them. We have some other options for them because we've already got parts defined here. We can use the export ship constructor files option that allows us to create ship constructor parts directly. Uh, we'll skip the option to do the frames because uh, we've already done them, so we'll cancel that part of the export. The next part of the export is to export our stringers, and we just have to give them a prefix. So I'm just going to use an SDR prefix for each stringer. Stringers can be offset uh, due to differences between the origin of the zero point on the stringers, but I'm going to just uh, use the standard settings for that. For plates, we put in a PL prefix for the names of the plates, and each plate also has a mesh, so we'll do a PLM for the plate mesh to create all those plate mesh files, and I'll skip the option to export decks. So that will have exported all of those visible parts uh, over to a series of Ship Constructor format files. If I switch over to Ship Constructor now, and I go to my navigator, in the navigator under structure, under the curved planar group section, we'll see that I've pre-created a model drawing for my plates and a model drawing for my stringers. So let's open up the stringers one first. I then go to the stru structure menu and choose the stiffener command and say new twisted stiffeners. So this allows me to create a set of new twisted stiffeners. I can select the stringer drawings that I created from workshop and uh, those drawings will be loaded in from each of the respected files. Then I can go to the library and choose the stock that I want to use. So I'm going to use a 100mm T-bar to match the one that uh, I used in workshop, and I'm going to turn on the option to apply these settings to all of the parts that I import. Once those stringer parts have been imported, we can then see that uh, we have one part created for each stringer that was defined in workshop. We can use a similar approach for the plates. So now let's switch over to the second curve group that I created for plates, and we'll save our stringers. And uh, then we can open up our plates drawing. Once we're in our plate drawing, we can again go to the SC structure menu, this time to the curve plate submenu, and choose new to create the new curved plates. So I can select the plate files that I created from workshop and when I open them up uh, we get asked for an insertion point for that plate and then asked for the type of stock that we want to use. So I'm going to choose uh, 6 mil stock for my plate. I can also set the throw direction and so on. So that my plate part has been created directly from the geometry in that file. We can repeat that process for the remainder of the plates. So all of our plates have been imported, and if we turn on our render command, we can see the uh, individual plates that have been created, and just rotate that around to check. We can see some different stocks that we've used there. So each of these plates is a normal curved plate part in Ship Constructor. Finally, we can use the navigator to go back to our unit drawing and see the results of all of these uh, imports. 
So back in our unit drawing we can see that uh, our frames, our shell plates and our stringers have all been imported into their respective groups and uh, we have a unified 3D model of the parts we've created in Workshop and we can then continue detailing the rest of the internal structure as usual. Thank you for watching our demonstration of moving Workshop parts to Ship Constructor. Thank you for watching.